compendiums by uh, uh, novelists um, and, and uh, extracts of their fiction. Uh, Wilson was in there um, uh, amongst the best and the most famous. Quite a complex writer. Uh, he wrote in pseudonyms. Um, 1933, Jeffrey Spencer. Um, there are uh, dimensions and aspects of that particular pseudonym in terms of uh, origin. One being that um, the original C um, was known as Captain Spencer. He actually hired the first, well, it wasn't the first headquarters, but the two Whitehall Court headquarters under that name. Confessions of a Scoundrel is an extraordinary pioneering modernist novel. Social realism representing abortion, homosexuality, child abuse by priests, and criminological theory. So again, there are a significant range of surprises uh, in the investigation and um, the analysis of um, a 20th century writer of this kind. In the process of um, uh, being uh, Mike Shannon's uh, secret agent, uh, I discovered his real identity. Uh, Alexander Joseph Patrick Wilson uh, came to his war office file um, and uh, began to uh, gather circumstantial evidence to identify um, uh, Alexander Wilson's clue, uh, role in the, in, in, uh, in the secret world and uh, intelligence work. By the way, this is a picture of his, his uh, status as an insouciant teenager in Hong Kong in 1906-7, uh, um, fluent in Cantonese Chinese. Naval Cadet, um, uh, 1911, The uh, successful author of the 1930s, Edgar Wallace style with the, with the pipe, uh, iconic uh, of the uh, authors of the kind. His writing persona was um, a cover or a stolen identity. Alexander Gordon Douglas Chesney Wilson uh, was a complete fabrication. This was his putative mother, Lady Sarah Wilson. Uh, the daughter of the Duke of Marlborough, uh, aunt to Winston <coughs> Churchill. Uh, his father was Colonel Gordon Wilson of the Blues and Royals, who died heroically in the first few weeks of the, of the Great War. In this cover identity, uh, Alexander Wilson uh, dealt um, with qualifications and honours like um, a croupier deals with cards. Uh, in this identity, he was the uh, Professor of English Literature and Principal of Islamia College, University of Punjab from 1925-1931. A brilliant academic who developed and improved um, standards at, the, uh, at that particular college, uh, was given an honorary uh, fellowship in, in, in tribute, uh, raised um, a university training corps uh, for the Indian Army. I have had no access to the files. The uh, Secret Intelligence Service um, were the, was the only intelligence agency that showed me courtesy in uh, saying that they can neither confirm or deny. Uh, the security service um, uh, refused to uh, respond to me in any way. Incidentally, it's something I'm very familiar with uh, in my uh, working life and, and, and personal life. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's water over ducks back. It's the same with GCHQ. So my research has, de has depended on uh, forensic, uh, textual, traditional, uh, academic and, and investigative journalistic research. And the guidance of confidential sources um, who may or may not um, be past, uh, present, active members um, of the intelligence world in, ter in terms of um, you know, being operative, um, whose uh, confidentiality I will prote protect beyond the grave, but were very helpful from the point of view of uh, analysis and, and guidance. Um, one of his um, playing cards of qualifications um, was a degree in uh, medieval and modern languages from Gondal and Keyes. Cambridge. Uh, and it was enormously convincing uh, because he took his um, undergraduate degree in 1921, he took his MA by proxy in 1925. Uh, the profile of the uh, student uh, concerned 
um, junior commissioned officer during the Great War. Uh, and, he, and his father, Alexander Wilson's father, was also called, called Alexander Wilson. Um, the only way I discovered that it was um, either a stolen identity or traditional cover was um, the generous assistance of uh, the college's archive. And um, believe you me, it was um, both a shock uh, for myself and perhaps more of a shock for the archivist um, to realise the extent to which um, such confidential information and not so necessarily widely in the public domain could be used to support the credibility of somebody who, in my uh, conclusion, did work for the Secret Intelligence Service. And I'll explain why I feel I've been able to prove this. The third family that Mike uh, was never aware of until this uh, investigative project, um, Alexander Wilson's third wife, Alison, 1941. Uh, he met Alison, according to a personal uh, memoir she wrote, as a character critique of Alexander Wilson. It was a thoroughly critical, um, well, really a, an ethical condemnatory attack on uh, her husband, thereby giving her testimony of um, he, her and his association with the Secret Intelligence Service, in my opinion, academic and forensic credibility. She met him in a unit um, bugging and uh, intercepting the uh, embassies and diplomatic missions uh, during the Second World War between 1940 and 1942. Um, corroboration, secondary sources, thank you very much Professor Keith Jeffrey. Uh, you name the section, section Roman numeral 10 X. Uh, thank you, Nigel West and the um, archives of Q, who published Guy Liddell's uh, diaries, special material generated. Thank you, Nigel West, uh, for oper Operation Triplex. Uh, yet more secondary source um, coincidental co uh, confirmations of the unit, its operation, uh, coinciding with Alexander Wilson's knowledge of Urdu, uh, proven uh, in terms of forensic um, and documentary evidence, uh, uh, Persian. Uh, his knowledge of Arabic um, and French and German. Uh, coincidental uh, documentary confirmation. Um, so we've got uh, Alison's, uh, Alison and Wilson's memoir. The War Office file, which I was only able to obtain um, when uh, identifying its true identity, notes taken uh, and made by a, a panel evaluating Alexander Wilson for the Emergency Officer Reserve in 1940 scribbled over documentation. Persa, he served as a Persa um, after the Great War. British India, which is where his academic career. S.S, handwriting experts say that either stands for CTY or CRY. Um, S.S, in my opinion, is a, a possible um, uh, coincidental reference to uh, Secret Service, which was the Official designated acronym in documentation. Thank you very much, Professor Keith Jeffrey. Um, you uh, demonstrated that in your official SIS history. Does it represent steamship? Uh, in my opinion, um, uh, it's probable it does not because he only served on one steamship, uh, Prince Essen, uh, in his merchant navy career. Um, but again, we're looking at uh, possible coincidence. first uh, wife, Gladys, so Mike Shannon discovered that uh, his father had a previous um, marriage and family. And I, I, I hope I'm not uh, in any way trivialising or, or reducing the huge emotional impact uh, this had on, on Mike Shannon. Um, I certainly want to pay tribute to his emotional courage and dignity in um, encouraging me to continue with the project and coming to terms with everything that the project um, revealed. Mike's mother, Dorothy Wilson, uh, married in India around 1928, second wife. What I want to impress upon you is that in the way we've been dealing with the secret world, the world of intelligence, as um, almost uh, abstract, fabulized fictional notions and constructs. Uh, the secret world is flesh and blood, emotion and real people. Um, the complicating factor in Alexander Wilson's story is that um, there is a history of a petty crime and Alex Lima style um, uh, times in, 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 in prisons, Her Majesty's uh, prisons, 
uh, three um, apparently bigamous marriages, uh, certainly marriages um, with no divorce. In the process, um, the surviving uh, first generation children came together as a result of the project. They are enormously impressive people. Um, they created a monument uh, to, uh, to provide a physical um, mark of somebody who had an unmarked grave. Perhaps true, I suppose, to a mythological um, idea of the secret agent. Um, they are people, um, as I've said, with great emotional courage and dignity uh, and um, deserve um, uh, enormous praise. Trying to separate the, um, the charlatan and the petty criminal from perhaps the intelligence operative. He went to jail in 1944 for wearing a false uniform and um, decorations. Um, he told his wife, uh, third wife, Alison, that he was part of an intelligence operation, but he could not explain um, what that intelligence operation was. And like a true intelligence operative, he did not blab, he wrote no diary, and he told hardly anything to his immediate family. Um, what's interesting about the police prosecution that I've uh, analysed and deconstructed, um, he did not pay the fine of £10, which is lenient, um, for um, wearing uh, false decorations. Yet the police pro prosecution, on the record, said that he was wearing medal ribbons for, First World War, for the First World War, to which he was entitled. Uh, what gives credibility to Alexander Wilson's account that this was an intelligence operation is that I proved that he had no entitlement to any Great War medals. Um, because officially he didn't serve overseas. So um, what's intriguing is that um, in the Hall of Mirrors of trying to unravel the life of an intelligence uh, operative or an apparent intelligence agent, um, occasionally you see light, um, but more often than not um, you see reflection, reflections. Finally, should SIS release the file? Um, I'm ambiguous about this. For the family, the answer is yes. We're talking about 60 years ago. Have they crossed the Rubicon? Uh, Sir Richard Dealer, I think, indicated yesterday they have with the publication of the official history. Uh, thank you very much.